Sam the Sommelier has been on a mm. whirlwind trip somewhere, mm. and she's back to test me on wine. So let's head out here to the Make Believe Kitchen where Sam the Sommelier is. Good morning, <laughs> Sam. How are you? Hi, Brad. Good so, to see you. Good, and I brought my thinking cap here. Oh, I love that. You for like you. that? Yeah. Yes. This is this is. You look, didn't I'm bring gonna, me one too. So, do you want? Do you don't say I that. I wanted one. Do you? Do you have time to go get me one? Do, do not. Do not. Do I you, want one. Really? I do. Will we wear because. Kelly didn't want us to wear them in the segment. What the heck, Kelly? Right? Will you wear it? I will wear will it. You? Do it. Get it. <laughs> Down for that. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Look at that. I got you. I love Look this. Look at this. <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Kelly? Yeah. We got wine and big hats. What more can you ask for? Because <laughs> so. that goes together so, <laughs> so well. well. Sam, how are you doing? Good. So okay. we're going to blind taste, Brad. Okay. Have you ever done that before? Well, you know what's so funny is that I am uh, a champion of the uh, Coke and Pepsi blind taste oh, test. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Well, you're yeah. too young to remember that. Well, no, because you made me try that really weird right. nitro Pepsi yes. that you were really into. You're into Pepsi like people are into wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> so okay. maybe you'll be really good at this. All right, let's see what <laughs> So happens. obviously blind tasting is what it is, right? We yes. cover the bottles, okay. and you're trying to get in tune with your senses, your sense of smell, your palate, to try to guess the grape varietal. Oh, so okay. let me tell you, okay. I would blind taste wine like it was literally my job because I had to pass an exam. Right. 12 to 15 wines a day for three and a half months. So hard. I just wow. drank constantly. But wow. basically, what I a would hard go job, through. Sam. Let's How see. many wines did you have to do again? I was just constantly buzzed for three months. Yeah. But so, all, right. Here we go. all right, here we go. Right, what I do we do? I swear I learned a lot about geography and terroir. Okay. Yes. So we used and what was the word? Terroir. Terroir. You love those kind of terroir. words, right? I love like the big words. Accent. Yeah. <laughs> terroir. Terroir. I love teaching you new things. Yeah, I do too. All right. It's so the you're hat. You're gonna use. You're gonna use a taste. I just got my hair done too. I know. Like I'm covering like. So you're going to use a tasting grid, and okay. you're going to start with the sight, okay. and then the nose, and then the palate, and then we guess the grape varietal. Okay. And if you're having trouble, I'll help you okay. with our aroma wheel, which gives you some ideas on what you should be smelling or tasting. Okay. So this is so, the first one. This is, this is okay. So what do you smell? I smell almost like a fruit. Yeah, like taste. fruity. Love fruity. that. Can yes. you pinpoint what exactly that fruit is besides I'm gonna grapes? Say, I'm, I'm going to say almost a... Uh, Almost like an orangey smell. Yeah, maybe like citrusy, yeah, like citrusy. the orange rind. Right, right. I love that. Is that am I... So yeah, you're on you're on point. So then I think what wines are yeah, you're so smart. The hat. Then I start to think what wines are known for citrus tart. Right. So probably not Chardonnay. No, but I'm gonna say a Pinot Noir, a Pinot a a, a P pin, a, are you thinking of Pinot Grigio? Pinot Grigio. You're close. There you what's go, Pinot the, Grigio. What's the other one? So now take a sip. Pinot Grigio would take be a, a Sauvignon Blanc. He got it just on the nose. <laughs> There, all right. Tell See, either. look at the big brain it's on so Brad. Good. That's working. <laughs> it is. It is. Okay. All right, you're one for one. Okay. Let's try the next one. Okay, the next so one. So same we... thing. Give it a smell. Different. Same. Do you get fruit, spice? No, I got earth. a spice in this one. We got a spice. Earthy, maybe. Hold on. So spice, maybe like a baking spice, like maybe like cinnamon, yeah, nutmeg, I'm thinking... vanilla, clove. Ring in any bells? A, a little bit, yeah. Okay, so, kind of so warmy. Warmy, yes. Does it smell riper? Than the last one? No, it smells a little bittery. A little bit more bitter. That's okay. me. All right, that's okay. Is that okay. supposed to be? It could be. Take a sip. Okay. And tell me on the palate. And also look at the color of it. It's a more yellow wine compared yeah. to that one. Sauv Blanc is really light and pale. There's another grape varietal that tends to be a little bit more full bodied. Yes. A little so richer. That is is kind of like almost close to a, um, I'm going to say a, a, a Chardonnay. Yeah, you got it. Two for two. This sucks. You're doing so and well. And there's no I words was, out here, people. I was, I was hoping you would not do well. You were hoping I didn't do well? All right, let's get to it. Right. Now, this no, is going to be my I'm hard one, is red wines. Red wines and I don't go well, so we'll see how the rest of the show goes. All right, so, uh, let's, so here let's we go. get you three for three. Okay, All right, so. you got this. So there's a lot of red wines. It's yeah. either, I'll tell you what it's going to, like, what it might be, but first smell it and just see if you get anything on the nose. So what I'm getting on the nose is more of a bittery, strong, kind huh. of, uh, kind of like a, uh, um, a bitter taste, kind yeah, of. Yeah, maybe more earthy, funky. Red wine has yeah. tannins, so you start to get more of that like wet rock, which I think is kind of funny. I'd actually go out and lick rocks to understand Ooh, that. Ooh, that hit my nose a little bit when I did a little taste there. Do you there. feel that like 
tuck, uh, puckering. Yeah. yeah. So you're getting that mm. acid, and then do you feel mm. dry in your cheeks and like gritty? Okay. Yeah. So it's a tannic wine. Yeah. It's going to be either a Cabernet Sauvignon, no, Pinot no, Noir, no, 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 or no. a Malbec. No, this is more a Boone's Farm, I'm thinking, right here. <laughs> this, is, Farm. this is Boone's Farm right here. What's the that varietal, was, though? This is probably a Boone's Farm, I'm telling you, probably not a Strawberry Hill. Mm -mm. I love that you're this guessing is, the producer. Let's go. Yeah. I should have asked you the vintage year on you should, Oh, this right here? Yeah, what's oh, the this, date? This right here, this Boone's yeah. Farm, 1987. 1980. Graduated from Hackett Catholic High School. The same, to uh, you know, that's good. <laughs> no, actually, this is pretty much probably a, a, a Pinot Noir. No. No? All right. <laughs> I love to say in my tastings, I'm never going to say no. I'm never going to say you're wrong. Except but you just you're didn't wrong. Lie. You're wrong. All right, what wrong. is this one? Well, you didn't try hard enough on this one. I know, because so I'm not a red wine person. I know. Give it another sip. Another sip. Oh, my goodness. So we, I have a show to do, don't This you know? varietal. <laughs> This varietal is known for big oh. blackberries, plums, really rich dark fruit. Pinot Noir say, is more current yeah. cranberry. I'm so gonna say, I don't know that one. It's I... either Pinot, which you guess, and I okay, said no. no. So between a Cabernet Sauvignon and a Malbec. I'm going to go Malbec. There you go. There it is. There you go. What? Cabernet has ah! more of a vegetal type of vibe going on. Love... Malbec is more. I made you more. I love it. <laughs> I made you more we got to wrap it up. I, mean, I could spend all day with Sam. Sam, very quickly, tell them where they can find you and, of course, when you teach these kind of classes. My hair looks nice, so look I'm going to show you guys my hair. Okay, you look good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take mine off too. You can find me at samanthasommelier.com and my Instagram is samanthasommelier. <laughs> there you go, sommelier. So Hire me, I know what I'm doing, clearly. <laughs> All right, love it. Thank you, Sam. <laughs>